I'm not trying to burst your bubble. I need you to sit tight for literally two seconds. This is a three part video. All three parts, not clickbait, all three parts will be uploaded at the same time. So if you're watching this video, you can immediately go and watch these videos and it'll make sense in just a second. So what is a media event? A media event is when a big company say, you know, a company makes widget X. They invite a bunch of publications, uh, social media, YouTube people out uh, for a day or two to actually, you know, play with the thing and talk about the thing. And maybe they have an instructor out there and media people go and write and take pictures and do video with widget X. And all of you guys at home love widget X. Surefire hosted an event called Battle of the Bills, and this was not a normal media event. Just the character profiles alone of who was at this event immediately told me that Surefire is doing something a little bit different here. There was Talon Sai, who can actually, actually really shoot really well. There was Mr. Guns and Gear. You guys know him and love him. Discount codes galore, but very extensive background in both the military and dude does social media like nobody's business. Uh, you had Ian from Recoil. There's probably no one in this business that knows more about the inner workings of guns and media and hunting and dude super knowledgeable great guy to drink with uh mudge uh chris mudget mudge is one of the kind of guys that will literally text you you know happy fourth of july super nice guy has been in the industry for a long time and you probably never even heard of him because he's been behind the scenes everything from guns and ammo mag to a bunch of consultations he's doing right now but very knowledgeable and has a lot of reach Ben from Wiseman Company. Uh, ben, I, I'm gonna shoot you with Sims so many times next time I've seen you. Kit Badger, I'd never even heard of this guy, um, but super, super nice, uh, very knowledgeable, and definitely a shooter. You guys definitely need to be following Kit Badger, super underrated if you ask me. John from Active Self Protection, I just thought he was like a guy who talked about how many things people did wrong in a video. Nope, super knowledgeable, does Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, does a lot of defensive training, works with a lot of big companies that you know and, and love uh, when it comes to product development things. Very, very in tune guy. Spartan117, uh, I apologize because I forget his name, but this is one of the key people to bring you like Grand Thumb, the Jurassic Park situation with Travis Haley. He's also in like three different airsoft and he also does a lot of gun stuff and former military. So, I mean, I was literally outclassed across the board. I was kind of wondering other than, you know, jokes and bitterness why I was even there because all these guys are, in my opinion, way better at what they're doing than I am. I digress. This was a three day, four day event in a place called Oak Grove Technologies down in North Carolina, which mind you, even in May was hot as balls, especially when you're in like this gravel pit, sand pit, high noon, baking like, you know, a terracotta pot. Maybe one or two of us got a mild case of heat stroke. Just saying. Awesome facility, literally everything from short bays, long bays, wide bays, climbing tower, repelling tower, a uh, big gym with boxing ring and working out stuff. Awesome accommodations to relax at the end of the day and talk with a bunch of, you know, the guys that you just did a bunch of really sweaty, gross stuff with. <laughs> We're done here. <laughs> What is the purpose of all this? Well, usually, like I said, Widget X needs to be talked about. Surefire didn't bring out Widget X. Not a single bit of Widget X. They literally gave us two really awesome instructors, Bill Blowers and Bill Rapier. Bill Blowers is the kind of instructor that literally, I think at the end of the day, I would absolutely sit with him in his driveway, in his garage, in like the regular like aluminum tube and nylon lounge chairs and just slam beers and drop F-bombs all listen to Def Leppard and White Snake. Totally awesome guy. He is like the Bruce Springsteen of of uh, room entry. I mean, this guy has 20 plus years of SWAT experience and training experience. So awesome, awesome dude. Uh, very, very great use of the F-bombs. Bill Rapier, kind of a different side of the spectrum. He also genuinely frightens me. Uh, Navy SEAL training. This guy handled the combatives portion of this training. Combatives, for those of you that don't know, incorporates things from like say The Hunted. If you've ever seen that movie with um, Tommy Lee Jones and Benicio Del Toro, the down and dirty of cutting the human anatomy uh, mixed with John Wick, you know, some Brazilian Jiu Jitsu stuff and take away all the flash. This, this guy is so calm. It's like talking about Gandhi, knowing Gandhi can kill you at any second. Very calm, very peace, peaceful mind and very, very knowledgeable at how to drop elbows, choke you, punch you, throw you, dismantle you a million ways. If that doesn't work. He's going to cut you in 15 different ways, possibly blow your head off at close range. Two completely different worlds, right? You got SWAT room, room entry, room clearing, you know, taking care of bad guys behind closed doors. You have the other guy who's just up close and personal and gritty, gritty, gritty. So already this is getting a bit intimidating. Just stick with me here, guys. I promise it's all gonna make sense. Surefire provided two camera crews for two separate groups because we would spend four hours a day 
as a group with each instructor. So four hours here, break for lunch, four hours there. Break. The purpose of all this was to lead to an end task, which is why there's three different videos. There's going to be two situations that are literally uh, five to 10 minutes each that I'm gonna upload separate because we don't need to sit here for an hour and watch me talk, right? None of us, I think, are trying to be operators. Some of us were operators in a former life, but for the most part, we're just a bunch of you know gun dudes that love shooting and love the training aspect side of it. And this really kind of pushed a bunch of us, I know it pushed me, to the limits of what we're comfortable with and how fast, how slow you move and what you know versus what you think you know. Dude, mind blowing, absolutely mind blowing. Instead of Surefire showing us Widget X and talking about how great Widget X was and why we should talk about Widget X, all they did was put like their lights and their suppressors and their mounts and, and made us use them the way that the people that are actually utilizing those tools are using them. So we could understand that you're gonna bang stuff into doorways, you're gonna hit the pavement with things, you're gonna knock stuff into doorways, it's gonna be dark. I've been a Surefire supporter for many, many years. It's the only light that I have yet to freaking destroy. And this just kind of sealed the deal for me. I know there's a lot of light reviews out there, for instance, and Surefire does a lot of stuff, so I don't want to harp on lights. There's a lot of stuff out there that is Tonka tough or is heavy or is more affordable. I have yet to worry about a Surefire and I keep buying Surefires, so take it for what it's worth. Anywho, so we spent a day doing up down drills with basically both uh, both instructors. With Bill, we did more drawing from concealment, uh, drawing from the waistband, one handed shooting, uh, fixing problems on the actual malfunction, stuff like that. Your typical like you know day one. But day two is where things really kind of kicked off. Now we have cones. Now we're doing moving. You got to walk before you can crawl. And as much as I hate dealing with like and pretending there's a room there because it can get pretty boring. If you don't get that basic footwork down and how you're supposed to work with others that have their own free thought and mind and will, especially in a team dynamic, two man entry, three man entry, things like that. You can't just say I know gun stuff. You know gun stuff. Let's go in a room together. That's not how any of this works. You learn about things like sectors of fire and covering your teammate reading which way to it, whether you dig into a corner, whether you don't dig into a corner, things like that. It's hard to visualize on cones, but yet it's still easy to screw up because it only gets harder when you go into an actual rooms with walls and hallways and how much dynamically that can change from one house, one structure to another. On day two with uh, Ray Pier, we actually did a lot more hands-on. And I gotta say, I liked this. Uh, I didn't expect to, I don't do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I don't do, at best I'm a brawler. You know, if I ever get into a fight again, um, I don't know. I honestly don't know because that was fun. Smacking stuff, breaking stuff, clinching with people, throwing the weight around. And then from there, you start building up towards a repertoire of here's how you do it with a knife. Here's where you stab people, how you stab people, where you twist, where you slice. Dude, violence. Yay. It was the most fun I've had since I was a bouncer way back in the day. So honestly, <laughs> at this point now, we're fully awake. This is not a typical media event. We are utilizing tools at hand, whether it be weapon lights, blades, daggers, suppressors, rifles, teamwork, communication. It's just downright mind boggling how many things can go wrong and how many different answers you have to those problems once you do something like this. So if guys training is paramount, um, if you watch Garantham, he talks about this all the time. And I'm here to tell you that you can't just go take an NRA course. You can't just go take a pistol one course and call yourself squared away. You can't do it. If you have any kind of wild delusions and fantasies about clearing your house in the dark of the night with your nights, stop, just stop. You're only as good as your, your best training, period. Go get that extra. I, I know it's expensive. I know ammo is expensive. It's probably worth less than your life though. Again, I digress. On the second day, we did, you know, the, the walking and, and walking through, but with Ray Pier, we also did some stuff like shooting people. And this is why I hate Ben. I think I'm doing a bunch of this out of order, so we're gonna chop this. There's just so much to cover. You know, drawing with one hand, drawing with the other hand, uh, basically trying for headshots because that's the, you know, instant lights off and stuff like that with Sims, not a great distance apart from each other. We started doing more lateral movement stuff. We started doing drawing and covering and uh, <laughs> there's a lot going on. Everyone who thinks, myself included, everyone who thinks you can just go to a bay and hit that 10 ring, I'm sorry. It's things go faster than you expect them to. They go wrong even faster. And if something's going to go wrong with present and fire, uh, that's when it's going to happen. You really can't prepare for the worst any more than preparing for the worst. So you got to get more training than just putting rounds in at the local range and calling it a day. Go get an instructor. By the end of this event, 
it was basically a full six hours of two separate scenarios. One highly unlikely, but it was based off of, I think, uh, one of the instructor's missions that had to, had to be done with a couple twists. And this is why you gotta watch the videos because this is us learning, this is us fumbling through basic room entry with a partner that we've worked with for approximately you know, 12 total hours. So between communication and limited experience, unknown structural hallways, passageways, things like that. The one thing I can say, and you'll see it in the two other videos that are going up with this, sometimes the way a story is told can really kind of alter your mindset when it is relatable. And the way these scenarios were put forth, I, I found a relatable thing and I got fully, this is what has to happen now. While some of these events are highly unlikely, one of them actually is very likely in like believability, so to speak, but highly unlikely in, you know, New Hampshire, I'm sure, I hope. It was very easy to find yourself wrapped up, especially with awesome role players. Guys, if you ever do a force on force class, role players are, kind of the unsung heroes because it's their job to be the bad guy and being the bad guy doesn't mean just standing there and shooting that means hiding in cracks of doors that means hiding behind other people that you're not supposed to shoot that means not fair and because you're the good guy you, you really have to be on point hence going through the up drills and shortening that time span from threat to actual rounds on target uh, somebody gets up in your face and how to drop them because all these things that I never expected to be saying, expected to be doing at a media event, definitely kind of pushed me, I think a bit further than I expected to be pushed. And uh, I really, really thoroughly enjoyed it. I think people neglect acknowledging things like this happen. And if you don't appreciate the violence, you'll never be able to counter the violence. And I'm sure there's probably a more eloquent way to put it but we can't just watch stuff on the news and pretend, well, somebody else is dealing with that problem because someday, God forbid, you have to deal with that problem. Either way, uh, I had a great time. You know, Surefire is still king. God bless him for throwing a, a really, really dope media event. Um, it's been a long time since I've been surprised by, by a company and let alone met some really cool instructors and hung out with some really cool people that became teammates and, you know, hopefully considered friends. By all means, put the constructive comments if you're gonna just go ahead and bash your operator tactics from your keyboard, I, I'm not even acknowledging it, sorry. And you see a bunch of things that you wanna do and go get better trained up and do it. And understand that the weakest link could be you if you're not prepared. Um, get a good reputable trainer, spend the money because it's still cheaper than your life. Thank you Surefire and all the companies involved that made that possible. Can't say enough good things about Bill Blowers and Bill Rapier. So by all means, please, Go check out the actual uncut. Um, I did a couple, they had multiple cameras going, so I did a couple cuts to show you a different angle, but uncut from start to finish, a hostage rescue and active killer. Give them a, give them a look, uh, give us a like and subscribe if you could. You know, We appreciate everyone that, that takes the time to watch a video all the way through. That's why we kind of say it at the end sometimes. So you stay safe, check your chambers and go get some training. Get lots of it, as much as you can afford. 100% encourage it.